guys, PaulWithGuns.com here, and today uh, we're going to check out two pretty large safes, convenient large safes that were sent to me by Securit for some testing. This big one over here, that's the 105 pound Agile, that is the Model 52 Pro, and then over here, a little bit lower guy here, this is their Model 47 Vertical, that's a fast box, so this one is kind of designed for you know, that real quick access in a convenient location. And I've been doing some remodeling at our house actually, redoing floors, furniture, things like that. So I've got a new place for each one of these, which is super convenient. Uh, we'll start over here with the Agile. And so this, this particular safe is gonna be 52 inches tall on the outside. Uh, we're gonna be looking at 15.25 inches deep and 20.25 inches wide. Now that's, that's on the outside here. It's a little bit more narrow on the inside, uh, but Essentially, you can get six guns, long guns, that are going to be around 51 inches inside this safe. And it's got several ways to get into it. So we've got a biometric uh, pad right here, so you can do your thumbprint. We're gonna have an access key panel, actually down here, uh, in case you wanna use your key instead. And then, just left this as a basic code here that gets us inside. And both of these safes actually come as a kind of bundle. Uh, the, really, the, I mean, the key to this whole system is its modularity. So you're going to have anchor points on the tops, the sides, the bottom, bottom part. You can mount these on top of each other. There's different additions. So you could actually have multiple safes stacked out, multiple gun rack type systems set, stacked out. Um, I've heard these are really popular with like law enforcement, military, particularly because fast access, uh, stackability, modularity, so they can fit it to whatever space they're working in. Uh, this one comes with that door panel. Uh, from secure it so we got molly up top we're going to have some pouches for you know gear magazines some easy access pistol pouches behind this there's a nine volt battery compartment that's what's actually going to power your biometric and a keypad there's even a magnetic hook if you're trying to hang something in this case just the keys and then the internal storage is there are tons of options there's two different container sizes that you can hook up uh, this one like i said it's built for six long guns I kind of got it staggered out for various different things. Um, I put a shelf up here, which is where I would just keep just my regular stuff. Say I'm sticking some holsters and things away as I put away guns, that's good. Um, but plenty of space for magazines. Uh, I have another shelf I've stuck in here and the whole thing is completely modular. Um, that means that, I mean, however you want to organize it, I have this set up actually to kind of hint at how wonky you can get. So this AR has a kind of redonkulous scope on what is basically just your standard AR. That's fine, that fits in here just fine. Put that over. Um, we have more traditional tactical, but I even stuck, for instance, this bullpup, which I can't get into most of my safes at all because they're not modular, so they end up getting jammed into things, jams into the door. Uh, this one I can fit in just fine by reversing it. And then even here we have an AR-10. So, Tons of modularity in it. And then I think probably one of my favorite features is the secure it lights. Uh, I have a box of <laughs> safe lights, most of them powered by things like uh, AAA uh, batteries, often six, four to six AAA batteries. And they just bleed themselves dead like constantly uh, to the point where I don't want to buy batteries anymore. So I just throw them away or stick them in a box in case I ever really, really need them. But these, these are actually I think that's USB-C. So these are USB uh, rechargeable, motion sensored. They're actually quite soft light too. A lot of the other ones are kind of harsh. And you can put them however you want. So up here now I can see the top shelf. I can see my containers here. You can put them so that they backlight back here. So I got that one turned on now in case you're digging around on a shelf. Or you can put them lower if you have multiple shelves. Tons of options. Um, super flat. The other, a lot of the other ones are boxy. So I really appreciate uh, those, those lights in particular, so much so that I stole a couple and stuck them in a different safe uh, that I bought years ago that I'm now gonna be getting rid of. Um, so that is the 52-inch uh, Agile. Like I said, you can get uh, six long guns in here up to about 51 inches tall, but another thing, and I don't have them in here right now, I have my handguns hanging out here on this panel, but you can also swap out these boxes and you can get uh, pistol pegs. 
So they come in various groupings, but you can do like four, um, and you can get at least four handguns in a really compact space, just how they stagger the pegs out. So you might get rid of some of these boxes because you've got more pistols, stick that in there. Really just make it whatever you want it to be. All right, so this 52 inch Agile, uh, it ships right to your house. It's gonna come packaged, actually really nicely packaged. It was in layers, which I was protected. I've had a couple of safes over the years come in uh, and gun lockers that clearly got dropped and dented. Um, in shipping. This one came in with multiple layers. I didn't have a scratch on it. it. looked great. And at 105 pounds, that's, that's still not a light package, but uh, it's all assembled by you. It takes, I think it took me about 35 minutes. Um, and that's just kind of lackadaisical. Maybe an hour if you crack a beer while you're doing it on a weekend. Um, so you have internal construction. So it's modular. You bring it in, you start assembling it from the base up, and you're going to have anchoring reinforcing points that you're going to put in. We'll look at those a little closer on camera here later. And you're going to have then your shelving and stuff that you put in. And then it's all bolted together from the inside. I.e. on the outside you can't just walk in with like a wrench and start opening up the safe. So that's all closed up. And then as far as the keypad goes, you program that yourself. So uh, it's going to come in with just like a generic, like this one right here. One, two, three, four. Oh no, everybody's got my code, right? It's just demo purposes, but you get a program that they do not have a master code. So if somebody tells them, hey, give me Paul's code, uh, they won't have it. I'll have it, but they don't actually keep track of that. So you just change that code, change your master code. You can set it up um, for another user as well. So if you want a code for your use, but you want somebody else to have access to it, uh, your spouse, you have that option as well. Then we come over to this little guy, and this one's a little bit tricky because technically this is the fast box vertical. It's uh, 47 inches tall, um, 6.75 inches wide, and 13 inches deep. I say that a little weird though because while this is the vertical, it can also be laid horizontal. And if you did that, uh, it comes with some foam so that you can line it and stick it under a bed, bed of your truck, whatever you're trying to do with it, you can sneak it in there. And just like the other one, it comes with its own set of keys, 47 inches tall, right? A little bit more compact, still modular, right? So those anchor points, if you wanted to attach something up to the top of it, you can key here, or you also have the keypad that you can just use right there. Just remember your sequence, run your sequence, same thing. You can program your own sequence once you get it. Uh, right now, for just demo purposes in here, you could also put gun pegs. So if you wanted handguns up top, instead of, for instance, the ammo I have, you can stick gun pegs in here. At 13 inches, you can get a uh, scoped AR in here. You're pushing it if you're trying to put it in there with a magazine inserted. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and I can't do this in my other safes except for my really, really just giant room size kind of stuff. Um, to get around that, you can just use a 20 round AR mag. Um, fits perfect, actually, inside this. And then you have shelving up here to put your, your 30 rounders, your 40 rounders, your 50 to 60 round, whatever, you know, 120 round drums, whatever your freedom and way of expressing it has uh, shown uh, to be the way for you. Uh, in this case, we have a Mossberg 940 Pro Tactical. Uh, it's a kind of a stout little home defense type shotgun, tactical type shotgun, and then just your basic AR-15. Uh, and I've uh, got ammo for reloading. This is a seven plus one shotgun, so it's pretty generous. Ammo for reloading the AR. You could swap that out, put in handguns. Not hard at all and quite compact. Again, you can lie it down. If you do that, then you have an underbed uh, security thing. My goal for this one, again, sticking those lights in there is awesome, but uh, my goal for this one is it's going to be tucked into uh, some recently built closeting that we have in the, the house. So I'll try and get some photos of what we do with these um, here at home, and then we can stick that in the video for you guys to see as well. But that's just two of the safes um, that we've gotten from Securit. We've gotten uh, uh, some other people. In fact, uh, a couple other guns.com guys, I know have bought this already and they've installed it as well. Uh, it is very much a do-it-yourself kind of project, shipped straight to your house. But there's also smaller, more bedside type handgun ones. Um, they've also taken this modular uh, kind of U-shaped hook structure that's on the back of each of these safes. You can mount that on your wall if you want to make a gun room. They've got tons of options for you. Like I said, their, their ticket to it all is uh, secure storage, but then tons of modularity to go with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, take a look at these safes. They're super cool, uh, super convenient. I'm definitely enjoying having them, making my life a lot easier as a person who deals with a lot of different firearms every single year. 
All right, guys, that's my review of these two Secure It safes, both modular, tons of modularity, the Agile in particular, I know. Uh, you can build into a lot of different structures for whatever fits your needs. If you're looking for guns to put in these safes, you can always visit guns.com. We always have a collection of new and used guns. You can save with our certified, certified used collection of guns. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave us a comment on down below, and I'll see you next time.